dear students, in today's lesson, we are going to talk about the food we eat. In this lesson, we are going to define some food and meal time and also enrich our vocabulary in speech. Let's begin our lesson. What do you know about healthy food? All living creatures need food. We need food to live and grow. We need good food to grow strong and healthy. We get food from plants and animals. The food we get from plants includes fruits, vegetables, and cereals. Fruits include apples, bananas, and pears. Vegetables include potato, cabbage, and carrots. Cereals include corn, rice, and wheat. From animals we get milk and eggs. Such foods like milk and eggs help to build our bodies. Some food helps to protect our bodies from illness. This includes apples, carrots, and spinach. After watching this useful video about food, we are going to learn some everyday expressions. These are, what would you like to eat? Here you are. Yes, please. No, thanks. Let's see one situation where we will use, what would you like to eat? Imagine you are in a restaurant and you want to order food. The waitress comes to you and says, what would you like to eat? And after you order the food, the waitress will bring your food and say, here you are. When the waitress or waiter offers you some food, they can ask, would you like some, for example, would you like some carrots? Would you like some salads? And you say, yes, please. And if you don't want to eat this food, you will say, no, thanks. And now let's learn some expressions about food. In English, we usually use these uh, quantifiers with some nouns. Let's fill in this exercise with the necessary words. In English, when we want to buy bread, we cannot count breads. For example, we don't say two breads, but we say two loaves of bread, because the word bread is uncountable. So we are going to write here a loaf of bread. A can of juice. A slice of meat. A cup of coffee. Let's continue. A packet of tea. Or you can say a bag of tea. This is called tea bag. Tea. A box of sweets. A carton of milk. And the last one, a bar of chocolate. Remember to use these expressions in your daily language. These are very common in English. And in this part of our lesson, we are going to learn about meal time. We eat three main meals a day and one extra. In the morning, we usually start our day with breakfast. In breakfast, we can eat some eggs, some cheese, butter, and we can drink a cup of tea. And in the afternoon, we take the meal, which is called lunch. In the evening, we take dinner. And sometimes people have supper too, and supper is usually at night, after the evening. These are the main meal times to learn. And now it's time to give you your assignment. Make up a chart about your meal time and choose your food for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and supper. This is your task until the next lesson. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.